Hello everybody, this is Clayton from International Connector. This is the Assembly Kit DK4N Red Black 10 gang. And I wanted to make a quick video because I just got a review from a customer saying that they were putting in the jumpers and the jumpers were too short. Um, this actually comes up way more than I ever thought it would. Uh, people kind of just place them in there and, that, and then that's it. And then they say that there's an intermittent connection. You can't just place it in there. You have to push it in. With these, you can just do it with your fingers, like your thumb right here. You hear? I don't know if you heard that click, but see now it's now it's nap down nice and flush. You could use the back of a screwdriver. You could really use anything. There will never be an intermittent connection on that. Now, it is nice and solid. Let's see how I can show you if I take this screwdriver and push up and out on those two blocks that I connected. I can release those from the DIN rail and you can see that jumper, how nice and solid that is in there. Okay. So it has to push where it's almost flushed down and then it goes right through this bar right here. There's a hole on either side and this is a copper alloy bar that connects one elevator cage wire connection to the other one. Once that's in there, you have to use a screwdriver to pry it out. You won't even be able to get it out with your fingers, let alone have an intermittent connection or shake it out. So just please make sure that you're pushing these down until you feel them click. It's uh, just a problem that it's amazing how often it comes up and uh, I'm just trying to, so sorry if I'm, I'm redundant because I probably said this on three different videos now, but I'm really trying to get that word out because that is uh, one of the most common issues that people have when they <clears throat> are doing any of these installations on their own. It just happens over and over again. So I just wanted to uh, put that out there because everything else is already pre-assembled for you. But this is the one I'd want people to buy assembly kits. The jumpers are loose. Now, if you buy a combiner, jumpers already going to be installed. Or if you buy just a standard assembly, they're single in, single out line connections, so there are no jumpers involved because you're not connecting anything down the rail. So if you have any additional questions, reach out. Hope you have a great day. Bye.